Hey everyone, welcome back. Round Geek here. So yesterday I was browsing YouTube and I saw many YouTubers still making video on how to run Android application or game without emulator. And they basically use the WSA Windows subsystem for Android. And I thought to test it whether it work or not. And I tried two different method and on two different machine, but it still it didn't work for me. And this is the reason I'm creating this video guys that if you are also looking uh, to enjoy any kind of Android application or game on your Windows PC and laptop, then I would recommend you as of now, instead of going with this kind of method, which is even not recommended, kindly go with any kind of emulator depending that what kind of machine you are using. I've already created a video on this topic on top three Android emulator based on your machine, whether it's high end, a low end or the mid level PC. Okay, so first I tried this method where I downloaded the WSA from this recommended GitHub page that is by the name Mustard Chef WSA Builds. So I came to this website, scrolled down to the bottom, and in the Windows 11 section, I downloaded the stable version. And then finally, I clicked on this link which was being recommended. Now, while downloading this file, I had many problems giving different kind of error like site cannot be reached or check your internet connection however i managed to download the file and once downloaded i extracted and when i tried to run this run.bat file i gave the permission and even it installed the windows subsystem for android where i was being suggested that i should enable the developer mode so i went to the advanced settings and enable the developer mode and followed the rest of the steps once it was being finally I install and again when I bring up this Windows subsystem for Android and went to the application the Play Store was showing me over here that it has been installed so that was true and even when I search in the Windows it shows me the Google Play Store and when I clicked on it it was loading and then it automatically got closed I tried multiple times but it not came through even I restart my computer multiple times and I tested again, I did many kind of troubleshooting, but the Play Store was not coming up. And this method I did not try it only on this machine, I also tried on a different machine, but on both the machine, this method did not work for me. And so I moved with another method. And for this method, I was recommended to download uh, the Windows system for Android with this website. So I clicked on it. I downloaded its file, the file was around 1.4 GB, the downloading went through and then finally I made the installation. Here also I was recommended to enable the developer mode so I did that and after enabling this the next thing that I was being suggested that I have to download the APK installer from the Microsoft store. So I did the same. I bring up the Microsoft store and look for this APK installer for Windows 11. I downloaded it. However, the size of this APK installer was around 1.37 GB, but still I downloaded it so that I can come to conclusion whether it work or not. Alright, so once it was being downloaded, it was being recommended that now I have to download any kind of application or game APK file. Now I cannot show you that where exactly I downloaded, but you can search and download the APK file of any application or Android game. And after downloading the APK file, you have to bring up this APK installer. It will ask you again to enable the developer mode and then ADB debugging. It asked me to select an APK file. So I clicked on it, choose the same APK file I downloaded. Then I installed the APK. The installation went fine and it was being installed. But when I clicked on launch application, it was not working. So again, I opened the Windows subsystem for Android. And when I went to the applications, the mobile game that I installed through the APK installer, it was showing up here. Again, when I tried to open it, it did not work. Even I made a search on Windows and I searched for this game. And when I tried to open, it was loading up, but it did not came through. So both the method, either downloading the Play Store or directly installing the game with the APK installer did not work for me. And this is the reason guys I made this video so that you should also not waste any of your time. As I said in the beginning that this is even not recommended by many of the people. If you are really concerned about the security and if you are concerned about not wasting your time 
and to enjoy the popular game and application so instead of going with a wsa for enjoying android game and application better go with any kind of popular emulator you will be getting my video link as well in the description you can check that video and enjoy it that way so that's all guys for today and hopefully you will found this information useful if you agree with me please let me know in the comment section if you disagree then also let me know your reasons and i see you in the next video bye bye